Thank you very much, Bill. It's me, Dougie Nero. Far cry from my usual rugby. Here at the Memorial Hall in Guildford to cover chess. I can only assume you that the decision to send me down here, Bill, uh, was something to do with you finding out about me and Sylvia. Terribly sorry. Obviously, it's all over, and it didn't mean a thing. Now, as, as you may notice, I'm in a soundproof booth. This is because I can comment, therefore, more freely on the match play that is going on between Mananananoff and Plebins. This game has been described by some pundits as probably the most thrilling of the century, but not by me. Uh, Mananananoff in the mauve top there, and Plebins in the white. Uh, it's quite a quite a complex set of things. Seven minutes, as I say, the game's been going on for. And you may notice that my attire is somewhat scruffy and stained with sweat. This is because the guards earlier decided at the four-minute juncture of the match that I should have all sharp objects removed from me. And indeed, my shoelaces are gone as well. I've been allowed to keep my tie simply for appearance's sake. Now, some of my commentary obviously has been... Uh, a little bit garbled, as uh, listeners to Radio 5 Live might uh, might have heard me asking, merciful God, to end it now. Um, I'm terribly sorry about that as well. Oh, it looks like he's going for a move. It looks like Manananinoff is going for a move. And he is... No, he's not going for a move. Sorry. I was being a little bit over-optimistic there. Yeah, well, Eight minutes now have passed, and it's still only February. I... I don't know whether... I, I'm, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I, rugby is my game. I, I can't... Uh, I can't... Uh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I, I can't take it anymore. I, I've, got, I've got to do something. I'm sorry. I've got to take positive action. I've, I've, got, to, I've got to take part. I'm sorry, Bill. Forgive me for what I'm about to do.